Okay, I think this is about take 200, but that's okay. I'm Karen Whitnish, otherwise known as BATB Passion. And I am Janine, at Janine on Twitter or Cole on Facebook. And it's been a hell of a week, beasties. Sorry for the lateness of this video. I know, it is my fault. I've been doing a lot of overtime at Crown Casino here in Melbourne, training to be a poker dealer, and yay, I passed my table test. So I'll be dealing to real-life poker players very, very soon. And... Now we're here, and we're here to talk about Father Knows Best, which was episode 6 of season 2 of Beauty and the Beast, and um, let's open the floor. Janine. Well, can I just say kudos to the trainers of Mr. J. Ryan. How did I know you were going to open with that? Well, can they I... opened it like yeah, that, okay, so well, that, yeah. who am I to say no <laughs> to going through with J. Vincent? Thank you, Vincent. Yes, shoulders, Vincent. shoulders, shoulders. I reckon you could sit a chihuahua on your shoulders there. I'd rather sit some else else on your shoulders. Well, you did this is a P rated, G rated, yeah, PG okay. rated thing, yep, right? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Cool. A little chihuahua on there, and I can just see it sitting perfectly on that shoulder that's like five meters wide. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you, you you took off that first scene really well. Did it beautifully. Uh, yes, yes, I do agree. I did like those flashback scenes. I thought it was really lovely, and um, I've been all right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Back again. Um, Earth to Janine. So, that's better. Anyway, um, I do have to move on from that. But man, you were so good. <laughs> oh. You're so predictable. I know. But I must admit, I've read quite a few comments from Beasties who compared that opening to episode four of season one, Saturn Returns. You know, when he was yes. doing the whole sexually frustrated thing in bed? Yes. This was better. Yes. This was definitely better. We got better. to see his leg. Yeah, that too. That Bit too. of a knee. That muscle inside the neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. okay. All right. Now, we've gotten this out of the way now? For a minute or two. Okay, for a minute or two. Did you like the episode? Um, I did. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I did like the episode. There were, I have to, we have to speak slower for some of our Oh, that's right. Um, we're going viewers. to try. We're going to try and slow our voices down. Our, you know what I mean. Anyway. Mm. So, I did like the show, yes. I thought that... Um, it was progressing along a little bit. There were little bits that I sort of, I've watched it quite a few times now and I think, eh, why? Um, but yeah, overall I liked it. What about you? Yeah, I did. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was better put together than the previous week. Mm. So the different writer and director, it did show. Mm. There's no doubt about that. It was a tighter episode. I liked most of the scenes. There was still a couple of um, plot inconsistencies. Oh, do you want me to come closer to you this yeah. time? Oh, okay. Um, still a couple of plot inconsistencies for me. I'm finding it harder and harder and harder to accept that Tess hasn't recognised Agent Reynolds after seeing mm. him on Thomas's iPad. Can I say, yeah. Tess is really frustrating, the absolute bejeebies. Yeah, of look, me. I liked her wisecracks up until now, but it's all on one note. It's all about Vincent and Gabe and Catherine. And I must admit, it is starting to grate on me as well because Nina Lissandrello is so much better than that. Yeah. It's so much better than what they're writing. What are you doing, as? writers? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, that is starting to get a bit one note for me as well. Plus, 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 I'm sorry, Tyler was terrified of Agent Reynolds, recognised him straight away. She was Gabe's girlfriend. Mm. They knew the score. He did talk about Agent Reynolds, as far as I recall, from a, a non-direct sort of way. Yeah. And... And you actually said before that um, Agent Reynolds couldn't have known who Gabe was because he only saw him as a beast. And yeah, I that, actually, that thought went through my head. Yeah, and I actually... shot me down. Yeah, I did. I was wrong. Yeah, you were wrong because in that finale last year, Agent Reynolds was at Gabe's loft. Mm. They knew they were looking for Gabe Lowen and Reynolds did say, I'm not going to let him slip through my fingers again. No question, but did they know what, who Gabe... Did they, they had know what to. Gabe Lowen looked like, though? Well, they had to have. Mm. I mean, an organisation like that, especially the FBI, they were at Gabe's house. They had to find him. Okay. They found him to the loft, oh. and then they tracked him to his own estate out in Whoopo. Mm -hmm. um, we'll bring it back Yeah, mm. so, you know, I think right. he, he was hell-bent on capturing Gabe Lowen or killing Gabe Lowen. He thought he'd killed him. He knew who he was. His sniper allegedly took him out. The next time he turns up at the police station, there's a very much alive Gabe Lowen. To me, that would raise alarm bells for Reynolds to start off with. So this whole, the two of them talking to each other, with it, it's not in context to what happened at the end of last season. So that, for me, is a, is a bit of a plot hole. Mm. Unless they address it, maybe the last mission 
is somehow connected to Gabe episode as well as Vincent. Yeah, episode, episode 22. 22. This, is why, this is how Gabe fits into the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know that Beasties could cope with 22 well, episodes. Well, I know I can't cope because I have to say to my mate, my buddy, my pal... Are we talking Austin, Austin Basis, Basis slash JT4? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I, look, all right, Beasties, here's my gripe about yep. this episode. Okay. Is why did they have... Gabe Lowen, who's a DA, yes. try to do a medical procedure on a beast. Yep. Now, <laughs> sorry, wouldn't you think? Wouldn't you think that that would be something that JT should do? Well, I would have thought so. I mean, how many times did JT do tests on Vincent, Vincent yes. inject him, yes. and you know all that sort of stuff? Yep. Why have you got an ADA? Yep. Because you got to remember that Gabe's um, way of dealing was taking tablets. Yes, that's right. It was. Wasn't had nothing to do with net medical procedures yep. or anything like that. So you know, um, Tyler was the one that was doing all the medical yep. procedures, not him. Yep. Tyler was the one that was going to dissect Vincent, not yep. Gabe. JT, I mean Austin, no JT, come back, yeah. please. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't Can you agree more. Take the place of Gabe in all of these things that Gabe just shouldn't be in, which is like I think personally six out of the seven episodes so far. <laughs> Yeah, look, I must admit, I am I'm missing that core. I like my JT. Of Vincent, JT, Tess, mm. Catherine. I'm missing that core of four characters. Look, they're all acting really well this season. Some of the scenes are brilliant. I'm actually liking Gabe on one level. Um, <laughs> oh, I am. I am liking him. But this whole... Yeah. Look, no offence, Sendel, really, because it's not you that we don't like. I don't like the way... I don't like the way it appears that the writers have forgotten who the core of Beauty and the Beast is, which mm. is JT, Le, um, Tess, Tess Remember Catherine, her? Yeah, and Vincent. <laughs> yeah. They are what Beauty and the Beast is about and their dynamic mm. for a lot of beasties out there. And there's a lot of people that are unhappy with the way that the show's going mm. at the moment. Mm. And, you know, I'm never going to stop watching it, of no, course. No, but neither am I. I'm sort of I a little bit frustrated mm. with it as well. And I know that we've got to wait because all things come to those who wait. But you know what? It's been seven episodes by now. And send out Gabe, your character, Gabe. Yes, character. Gabe. He's got yeah. to be written out of it a little bit more. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry. And because I don't like where the story's going. Yeah, some of the comments, like, um, you know, interestingly enough, for Vincent's reprogramming, Mm. To me, he's still the truest to form character this season. You did say he's that, a, and I agree. He's a reprogrammed mm. soldier, but he's still only killing bad people. Mm. He really is. Yeah. He's really not that much different to the Vincent of season one from the point of view that he's still protecting innocence, he's killing bad people. They happen to he's be. He's just more emotionalist this time, yeah. that's all, because that's what he's programmed to be. Yeah, but exactly. you're 100% correct. When you sit back and have a look at all mm. the episodes, mm. Vincent, or Jay Ryan acting as Vincent, is the only one that's similar to the character that he played in the first place. Yeah. Whereas, um... We don't know about JT because he hasn't had <laughs> enough scenes. <laughs> well, yeah, there is that. Tess is becoming too one-dimensional about the whole Gabe Catherine yeah, thing. Yeah, move on, Tess. Gabe is sort of... Well, we don't know where Gabe is at the moment, and that might still play itself out. Gabe and is a fish out of the pond, and he's... Yeah. Flailing. He's not part of the Scooby gang. No. 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 And you made an interesting comment. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, Earlier God. this week on the telephone when we were talking about the episode, because yeah. we did a lot, yeah. um, the one person that you thought you didn't like this season was Catherine. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, that's true. Mm. I'm really li liking Catherine's inconsistencies this season. To go from, you know, being all over him one minute to pushing him away the next to... Mm. Uh, look, I get that she's got a lot going on in her life. Mm. I mean, you know... A lot of us do have stuff going on, but yes. it doesn't change the core of who the person is. And to me, Catherine is a different person this mm. season. And I'm not, I don't know, I'm just... I'm not feeling, I'm, I'm not, not quite feeling, feeling her either. She's playing it great. Look, the but Catherine, she's playing what she's written yeah. really well. It's yeah. Not, it's not against Kristen. The Catherine, the Catherine she was character. in episode one, Yeah. now that I've watched the next four or five, mm. I've connected with more. Mm. because she was the one that was desperate to find Vincent. Yeah. She finally has him. She breaks down. She cries. And now she seems to be going away from that. And we have seen the previews for next week where there are problems in the bedroom. Who knows how that's going to play out? Well, I'm going to speak about that for a minute. Yeah. I'm just okay. going to say, okay. I'm Not reading... too much because we need no, it for I'm next not. week. I am I am reading a lot about how people want Catherine and Vincat moments and all that sort of stuff. And you know what? I do too because who doesn't like Vincent without a top on? Yes. Seriously, like, but 
I don't think it is Vincat at the moment. They're not Vincent and they're not Vincat. No. They're Vincent and Catherine at the moment. Yes. So the romantic moments to me are coming across as a little bit false mm. because Catherine doesn't come across as loving Vincent unconditionally like she did in season, season one. Season one, yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. And I can understand Vincent getting his memories back, so he's going to become more and more open to her. Mm. But the more open to her he's becoming, the more pushing away of him she is. Yeah. And I don't like that. No, no, I must admit, neither do I. I love the show, though. <laughs> <laughs> you rock, you need the beast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a bit of wind out here today. It's going to rain Hopefully. in a minute too. And it will probably rain as well. So yeah, we sort of had mixed feelings. And it's really interesting mm. because I, I did manage to watch the episode on Monday night when I got home from the casino. Mm. Watched it Monday night and I think Tuesday night. Watched it again last night. Watched it again earlier today. Yeah. And we watched it together. And the more often I've watched it, I loved it more the first time I saw it. Yes. But I guess because we review the episodes, we yeah. try to get more into the nitty gritty of it. And the more I've watched it, and the more I've thought about it, the more I've realised that there are some things that just aren't quite right yet. And okay. it's not that it's not good. I'm loving yeah. it. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. I mean, what's not to like? Other than the fact that JT, you're not in it. Yeah. And um, Tori's character. Um, okay. I'm only going to say this once. Her character is triggering Vincent yes. to be the aggressor. Yes, yes. All that's... right? That's what triggered Vincent to pull the heart out. He, yep. rip, he rips my heart out every week. But he mm -hmm. literally pulled the heart out of this beast. His Tory is the trigger. Yes. And, and how people the... can't get that, yeah. I'm at a loss. Yes, I must admit, I, there are some things I read on social media and I sit there and I go, are we watching the same episode? <laughs> Yeah. I do, so, because Tori has said all of a sudden her dad flew into mad rages yes. around the time her mother died. Which was so, three years ago. Which was about three years ago. So that's the time that her dad changed and he and he became enraged. Mm. So and I when she held her father's hand and when he was on the table he was when he out. changed. And when Vincent was trying to comfort her. His he started like, to change. And you made a very good point about that too. Mm. In the first season when Vincent recognised Gabe as being yes. a beast. Remember at the scene, at the uh, at anniversary at the cemetery he yes. beasted out because he recognised something the beast in Gabe? Same thing. We just need to cast our memories back a little bit and we'll yes. see that there are some reoccurring um, themes. themes here. Yes. We've just got to look for them. More camera. Sorry. More camera. More camera. That's better. We've just got to look for them a little bit better. Yeah. I'd, I can see a lot of similarities. So it's but, definitely Tory. Come on, and Hopefully. My hope. You see, when he ripped... Um, what's his name? Yep. What was it? Windsor. Yeah, Kurt Windsor. When he ripped Kurt Windsor's <laughs> heart out, I must, I oh, must have watched it? too many shows. Just the the yeah, because I've gone, yes! Well done, Vincent. I mean, I was disappointed with it though. Why? Because there should have been blood spitting out of the artery. <laughs> yeah, alright, I would agree. Because, Sorry. let's face it, he would have killed Gabe 30 seconds later. He was going to kill Vincent them all. wasn't there. He would have killed Catherine. He would have killed his own daughter. So, Vincent didn't do anything other than what he normally does. Okay, Which just. Which is programmed to protect the innocent. Exactly. And he just did it, okay, a touch more violently than usual. Oh, but awesome, that though. was because of the trigger in the room. Mm. Hey, listen, I watch American Horror Story. If you can watch that, you can watch anything. That that ripping out of the heart by Vincent, I thought that was That was perfect. great. Yeah. Absolutely great. I did like that too. But we are and different. It, and it also makes for, you know, people to be more wary of Vincent. So, you know, he is a different Vincent this yes. year, but he is still true to the Vincent Yeah, I was. still think he's true to the Vincent he was. I, I like Vincent 2.0 better. Oh, yeah. Oh, way better. Way yeah. better. <laughs> <laughs> um, have we said everything we needed uh, to say? Oh, probably not. We, 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 yeah. Yeah, we could probably go for another hour. We did actually, I know it doesn't seem like it, but we liked the episode. I like the fact that it engenders all of this conversation. Yeah. And that it gives us something to talk about and analyse to the nth degree because they're doing a great job. And it means they're getting to us on an emotional level. The outpouring that I keep seeing across social media about some of the scenes and Beastie's going, no, how could he rip that man's heart out? Hello, how could he not? He's a beast. He's a beast. He was going to kill everybody. Windsor was going to kill everybody in the room. So, exactly. Um, and he was going to kill Vincent. So all Vincent was doing was defending himself and he had an open... Okay, let's go back to like the Vampire Diaries. How many times oh. do you see hearts ripped out of people's chest there? Yeah, yep. you know. Okay, Vincent's not a vampire. He's a beast, which means he's better. But... <laughs> and 
And you're not at all biased. Yeah. <laughs> no, not at all. Yeah. But yeah, I'm exactly the same. But I have decided that when JT comes back in, I think I want to marry JT. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I mean, that means I'm married his, JT. <laughs> his wife may have something to say no, about that. J he's not married. Oh, of course, JT. JT. All right, all right. Well, I'm glad we've... we've yes, mm. okay. No, that's cool. I can understand yeah. that. Yeah. You want to fuck her? What? What was that? Okay. No, I did understand what she said. I'm just not going to repeat it out loud. But yeah. Sorry. Okay. Maybe on. Well, I'm going to lose. No, we are not losing this review at no. this late stage because we're not doing it again. No. Are you going to behave yourself now? Yes. Okay. I finished. But yeah, look. We need JT. JT, come back. We out. have to have you back. It's right, let's bring back JT. Same. We're going to mount a campaign soon because this is mm. just not cricket. And we're not the only ones that say this either. Yes. There are a lot of reviewers out there saying the same thing. Where's yep. JT? That I mean, why would you take someone to JT's lair? It's not. It's not Vincent's there. He's not there at the moment. It's mm. JT's place. So. I think it was very rude of them to go to JT's place without his permission. Yeah, I, I do agree. So they may have given it, we just not there to see it. You're not allowed to go on retreats. So even if that was you, Austin, requesting a time off because you had something else to do, it's just not Beside the point? Yeah. Go can. out of season. Or when you're on hiatus. <laughs> not to, you're not allowed to book yourself up during a BATB so they have to ride around you. You have to be there every episode. Because it ain't the same. Because we demand that. Yeah, we do. <coughs> what, what would you give it out of ten? I don't know. Yeah, you did like when it more I, than the previous yeah, week. Oh, absolutely, but I liked it better the first time I saw it. Yes, yes, so same. I've been jaded because I've been watching it and I've been listening to everybody else on Twitter and on Facebook yep. and to other reviewers. So my actual initial reaction would probably have put it around about an 8 or a 9. Mm. So I'm just going to leave it there. Okay. Look, I'd, it was well written, it was well put together. Um, most of the scenes really worked. It's the just first that... scene was awesome. You know? <laughs> We're back to that, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to go out Always. on that note, beasties. We have to go out on a positive, sexy note. I do understand that. Yes. The smile. Yeah, yeah, did like the smile. For all the beasties that were it's complaining like about the little smile when he was having the flashback of Gabriella a couple of weeks ago, this smile was way more. This was a hidden secret smile. Yeah, this was good. This, this was, was good. A, I, yeah, actually, yeah, I, did like, I did like that kickboxing Sorry. scene. Yes. Hey, listen, no indignation when Catherine managed to clock Vincent one in the in the jaw. Oh, with but her that, of foot. course it wasn't intended. But he didn't intend it when he was the beast when he shoved her either. I know that. There's no difference to me. There really isn't. She didn't We're watching a television show. She. It mm. is a fantasy drama. Yep. It's about beasts. There's yes. going to be violence. Yes. Against both. Yes, there is. Are we done? Yes. I think we are too. Till we'll be later. We are going to be... Now, I hope all the beasties... I've been reading some amazing posts about beasties that have voted 30, 35,000 times that are, that are setting goals you. of voting 100,000 times for BATV as a sci-fi TV. For I the applaud you all. People's Choice Awards? Yeah. That's what it is, People's Choice. It? It's sci-fi fantasy. Awesome. Drama. I've voted a few times. Go Kristen Krug. Yes, go Kristen Krug, go Beauty and the Beast. Although Joe Rayan should have been in there too. Yes, I, I do agree so with that. So should Austin Basis. Yes. So should Nina. Yeah, they all should be there. Anyway. But go Beasties, you're doing an amazing job voting. I think there's only a couple of weeks left before that closes. So keep voting. And what was the other thing that I was going to say and now I forgot? Don't know. We'll be back next I'm week. I'm not a mind reader. Episode 7, look who's coming to dinner. <gasps> and doesn't it look awesome? Flying turkeys, yeah. explosions. Tori and Gabe at a Thanksgiving dinner they shouldn't be at as far as I'm concerned. Well, so evidently there's a really good reason for them being there. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And of course I did read there's that. that opening that we've already seen previews But is that of. the opening or the okay. ending? Well, yeah, there's a point. Wow, well, so that could, you just don't know where that yeah. is. Because the way they put it all together, and it never turned out to be what you think it is. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And mm. on top of that, if it was going to continue, the episode would be rated S. It's not. And we are actually just talking about season, episode six, seven, seven, seven six, now, seven, seven, seven yeah. now. All right, we're not six. allowed to talk about episode seven anymore. No. We'll talk about it next week. Anyway, got to go. Okay. Till See you later, later. Bye. Bye. Now, it will be. Fading in, out. It will be in about a week, too. Fading because, out. Um, okay. Go